What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about the changes coming to the Warden class in the High Isles chapter. There's a lot of players in the community that are kind of unhappy with these changes, kind of like they were with the DK, because it feels like if you're using a Warden as a damage dealer, there's a few things in here that's going to buff a little bit uh, of your abilities and you know some of the morphs we've had, but for the most part, a lot of people feel like the Warden is getting a kind of substantial nerf. When it comes to the Wild Guardian morph, this morph now deals 10% more damage up from 5% to ensure it deals similar damage to the Internal Guardian when you take the Piercing Magic Passive. The morph now converts the damage to bleed damage instead of physical damage. Also when it comes to Deep Fissures, the morph now also applies a minor breach to enemies for the hit duration. Uh, for the Corrupting Pollen morph or the Corrupting Pollen morph, uh, the morph now also applies main, uh, minor cowardice to enemies in the area to help it gain some viability in PVE areas. For Arctic Blast, the Arctic Blast morph, the morph now requires enemies to be damaged five times in order to be stunned up from three. They reduce the duration of the stun to three seconds down from four, and they increase the duration of the stat counter to three seconds up from one. And I think this is the one thing that a lot of players are kind of upset with uh, because this is really going to kind of hurt the way you can line up your burst. Uh, the kind of note that Zoss put on this was right now the ability is offering too much offensive nature, allowing wardens to line up their burst perfectly uh, and kind of remove counter places. By increasing the stat count required, there should be less of a guarantee with the uh, with this combination and require more reactive kind of play from the caster. I think a lot of players are upset because some people are really good with wardens don't get me wrong some players out there can use any class and get high damage numbers out of them but i think for majority of the player base you're not going to get you know as much damage as some of the really really good players out there can i can get pretty good damage out of my warden not good as some of my or not as good as some of my other characters and i think a lot of people see this and, and think that it's going to hurt their overall damage in general because they're used to using that arctic blast morph and I do understand why players are concerned about it because it may start to kind of, you know, hurt players' overall damage numbers if you're using the Warden as a damage dealing class. And of course, the Crystallized Slab Morph, this morph now also stuns the target upon dealing damage. Uh, when it comes to the expansive Frost Cloak, they expanded the radius of the morph to 36 meters up from 28. And for Sleet Storm, the Northern Storm Morph, the morph now grants 300 weapon and spell damage for up to 30 seconds after casting rather than 15% magic for 30 seconds. This should help the ultimate be more imp uh, impactful across play styles. And I think the community was kind of upset with that one as well because a lot of people use Mag Wardens and now Northern Storm is kind of tailored towards that hybrid idea once again, you know, more towards a, a hybrid build. And they seem to be doing that with a lot of, of everything in the game as we know. A lot of the skills, a lot of the gear, Everything in the game is kind of getting tailored towards hybrid builds instead of just, you know, using magic or stamina. You know, instead of having just a mag class or a stam class, now you're just kind of, of a hybrid no matter really what you're using because some of the gear in the game, of course, a lot of the uh, abilities, a lot of the passives have been changed to be kind of more of a hybrid idea. And I think it's going to take a while for players to get used to that. Necessarily, is it going to be a nerf to... Uh, Northern Storm, we'll kind of have to wait and see as players get to play with it more. But overall, I think a lot of people are unhappy with the changes coming to the Warden. Just because if you're a Warden damage dealer, there's a lot of things in here that's going to kind of hurt uh, some of your ability to do as much damage maybe as you could in the past. You may have to change some things up. We'll kind of, have, like I said, kind of have to wait and see. After everything gets out of the puppet test server, everything goes live in the High Isles chapter, people can start testing things more and more kind of as a, a large community instead of, you know, just those. Uh, players that get to play on the public test server so when, the, when when this comes over to console a lot of us on console will get to test this and kind of see exactly what these changes are going to do to damage for the warden overall anyway leave me a comment with your thoughts and of course if you like the video hit the like if you haven't subscribed yet please do so and i'll catch you next time peace